Hello YouTube, you may have seen my very lengthy video I did on these two um, and uh, you saw that there was a bit of a problem with the activity monitoring in terms of the heart rate uh, monitoring. So what I did is I did a couple more activities just so I can see and test that heart rate monitoring and this is going to be a very quick video just to update you on that. So I've just completed a run, I might be a bit breathless but um, I did that so I can show you. Um, I did 31 minutes and a few seconds as you can see there so let's go into this and i wore the uh, galaxy watch 3 on my left wrist and the other one on my right wrist and here's the summary uh, as you can see i think last time the new watch didn't record calories as much i think there's something like um uh i don't know 30 calories instead of 300 400 calories but you can see here is the same um, run, very close in terms of calories. So there's, we can tell now it, there's not a, a significant problem there. And the distance I think was different last time, this time by only 0 0.01 or something like that. So not bad at all. Now let's move on through the metrics here. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of, um, it's a, I think what you look at is a number at the top in red, 200 as opposed to 215. Um, miles per hour, again, slight difference there, but nothing significant. And then the number at the top, at the bottom there, 55, 35. Um, and then you've got your um, charts. So you can see again, the, the line is, the lines are not... Um, kind of similar in the way they go up and down from the, the first to the second watch but at least it's recording at least it's recording the uh, heart rate um, which we were worried about and thinking that maybe it was a problem it may have to do with a sticker I left at the back of the watch when I wore it so I took that off some people may, may want to see the evidence you can see there's no sticker here there was a white sticker that was there which I took away um but this is this is the run just now and um i'll just show you and as i said last time the this watch i was used to these three zones maximum vigorous and moderate as you can see there but the new watch seems to have newer ones you can see there's maximum and aerobic and aerobic and there's also weight control um so um, the, it always gives you the explanation if you if you press info there um, It explains what they are uh, So you can always look at that. Let me do it slowly in case you all want to read and you haven't got the watch There you go. So that's what I wanted to share that it doesn't look like there is a problem there. In fact, what we could do again is probably go into yesterday. I also did. I think there was a walk we did yesterday as well. Uh, okay, I didn't take the other watch, but I took this one. Uh, did a walk. Is this the one I wanted to share with you? Let me just have a look. Yeah. So again, calories are recording, which we thought they were not recording properly. We did a half an hour walk and that's about right. So you can see that um, HR zones are there as well. It seems like it's a very slow walk we did. So it was only weight control. Um, but yeah, don't, don't worry about the heart rate monitoring. In fact, what I could share with you, what I have found I don't know if I can uh, go into it right here. Uh, if not, I'll just tell you what it was. Um, there it is. Now I measured my oxygen saturation for the first time and it recorded 84. Now I can tell you, um, because I, I know a bit about healthcare, that is not correct for me. I would have expected 95% or higher. So I'll be testing this again and I'll come back to you. But the oxygen saturation should have been higher than um, 84. Um, 
I'll just quickly, I didn't want to make the video too long, but I'll just show you quickly how you measure that. It kind of tells you to um to make sure the, the, the thing is very snug on your wrist. So if we go to, let's see if we can do that in view. So what you do is you just press measure. Let me just position it properly. Measure. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you as well. So for you to be able to measure, you've got to position your hand a certain way, close to the, let, let me see if I can. Table near your heart as shown. Um, make it tighter, go to a tighter hole on the wrist. So this is what I got first time and then I did it properly and, it, and, and then I got 84. So I'm going to be measuring this properly and I'll come back with an update on what I find. But 84 is very low. It should be 95 or higher. In fact, does it tell you? Let's just press that and see. Yeah, so that's what I expect. It's actually in there as well, so that's good. But I'll come back with an update. Hope this helps. Thanks.